Hello again and welcome. It's me and me's Joy, Joy Ruffin, coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. Back with you again. And wherever you are, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and maybe somewhere good night. But as always, all the best. You know, this week, it's all about the food for thought. It's all about career and work. The other day, we spoke about finding the right career choice for you. And today, we're going to talk about what career should you choose. Now, they seem to be quite the same, but in point of fact, they're not. Because when you talk about um, finding the right career for you, you're starting really at the very, very beginning, and you're listing all the good qualities and traits and characteristics and skills that you have. And right alongside of that, hopefully, the key, the way to do it is to list the things that you don't have and that you're not good at and hopefully the things that you want to build and grow into being good at and mastering. And when it comes to finding the right career choice for you or making the right career choice for you, then after you've done this and you've made up this list, most likely, if you're somewhat normal, you're going to come up with several different things that maybe you can do. But then it's a matter of narrowing it down to what it is that you're really, really good at. And for me, the concentration was on two particular different interests, and I, I want to share them with you, and they'll be in the blog today. And one is, um, they both have to do with focus. Because when it comes to career and work, you have to be focused. You have to decide and know where you're going to go, unless you are intending to just drift and exist and, and settle and so on, which you're not, or you would not be listening. So we're going to talk first about focus. You know what focus is and what that entails. But let's take focus to are you um, promotional? Are you promotional or are you preventive? Now let's explain that a little bit. If you are the type that is focused and you are the promotional type of person, then that means that you're very creative and you're very entrepreneurial, that you like doing things on your own, that you like being busy and involved and lots of uh, attention and people and all of that. You like connect, re connecting with people, relationships. You like working quickly and fast and all of that, which is good, which is very good. But you know and I know that the majority of people are not that way. So then the other group of people, and it can be broken into many different categories, but these are the two main categories, are prevention focus, which means that you focus on maintaining the status quo, that you prefer planning, reliable, being thorough, um, analytical thinking, and that's how you think, and you are the person who holds it all together because the promotional person might have a lot going for them and they might be the visionaries and the inventors and the highly creative, but trust that they need someone like you at their side. So most people are one or the other, and some of the very blessed and fortunate have a combination strong within the two. And maybe you're one of those. But most likely we go into either one or the other category. So your decision is to decide, after you've read through the article, and you've done your own research a little bit further, is to decide which one are you. And then in turn, that will lead you to the selection of what career choice is best for you. Because what you want more than anything, my friend, because meeting so many of late, it seems, maybe it's just my time in life, I don't know, but so many who are not happy in their work. They're not happy with their work. They don't, they're happy maybe with the paycheck, but they're not happy with the work. You want a combination of both and everything takes time. So do the assessment, decide on which is more your personality and then proceed further. As always, leaving you with food for thought, lots to think about, because that's how you move forward and keep moving. That's for the true seeker who wants more, different, and better, and who wants to rise to be all that they can be, which is you. So until the next time, do be well. Take care of yourself first, and then look after each other. I'll be back with you again and soon until that time. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.